everyone. So I have a message today. I just I keep hearing this song Calling All Angels by Train. And that song has been in my head so much today. And, you know, the lyrics of that song are, I just need a sign to let me know you're here. I'm calling all angels. So this is someone, could be a masculine who's feeling a little bit lost or confused or a little bit hopeless or, or it could be you maybe you're the maybe it's your person looking for a sign maybe it's you looking for a sign I'm not sure that energy just keeps coming through so I'm, I'm thinking that my followers on YouTube that you know you guys a lot of you are in this energy group so I'm gonna see what your spirit guides have to say or what their spirit guides have to say whatever messages come through in the cards um I know I normally do the zodiac videos and I'll continue to do those I just haven't been as drawn to those lately um But I'm going to keep doing them because I know that you guys do like them. I know that you do resonate with them. But, you know, from time to time, I do just feel drawn to give you guys these these more specific messages that just come through, you know, and not trying to do them on a specific date. Just, you know, whenever the spirit guides come through, whatever they want to say. So that's kind of what's happening right now. But we'll see what the message is. We'll see what the message is, whatever the cards want to say. Whatever the cards want to say. Okay. What is going on? What is the message that has been trying to come through for my YouTube subscribers through this song? The devil. Okay, so devil energy, that's... Um, this is addiction. This is old patterns. This is toxic behavior. This could also be um, toxic karmics as well. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands strength card nine of wands Ooh. king of cups queen of wands so this is a this is a powerful couple i see this as like i see this as true love right here king of cups and queen of wands could be water and fire energy or two fire signs, two water signs, but I see a lot of good energy here. And with the sun card, that's the most positive card in the deck. Yeah, page of pentacles, creating something new together. This is this is overall a good energy, but we need to look into this devil energy here. What is the devil card trying to say? Stagnation. Three of wands. Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm sensing, let me ask my pendulum. So I want to make sure this is the, you know, the energy. This is the energy group. Yeah, this is a karmic relationship that's either, that's trying to tie your person down is basically what I'm feeling. Trying to tie you down or trying to tie your person down. This is someone, this could be like a very toxic feminine energy here the devil card because this is old patterns this is someone that wants to keep you stuck or wants to keep your person stuck basically keep them stagnant they basically this karmic basically wants to stop you from building what you're trying to build or stop you know you two from building as a couple they want to cause heartbreak just out of bitterness out of their own bitterness basically they want to this person see this the thing that they don't realize is that this person, this connection here is divinely guided. This is divinely protected. This is meant to be. And this karmic energy, whatever it might be. And third party isn't always a person. You know, third party, this could be toxic patterns and coping mechanisms and addictions. But for a lot of you, especially with the videos that have been popping up on um, my channel lately, like there's just been out of nowhere, there's been all these like third party videos that I've been seeing where the karmics are really going crazy right now. The karmics are losing it right now because so many soulmates and twin flames, like, you know, divine life partners are coming into union this, this year and the karmics don't like it. The karmics are not feeling it. And it's really sad for the karmics as well because when they hold on to someone that's, that's you know, not their true love, not their person, not, you know, not for them, they end up also missing out on you know, their true love on their own person, just out of bitterness. And it seems like this karmic is holding on to, to, uh, 
your person basically to you or your person. I would say for most of you, it's your person. But for some of you, it's you. This person is, you know, because I do have male viewers here, I know. But, um, and it could be, you know, it could be male or female. Gay or lesbian relationships apply here too. Just take it as it resonates. But I just feel like this karmic is just bitter, toxic, a little bit psychotic. Um, and basically trying to keep someone stagnant here. It's like she sees that this person is trying to build with their king of cups or their queen of wands. She sees that this connection is divine, that this is meant to be, that this is true love. And she's just bitter. She's bitter. She wants to cause heartbreak just, just for the sake of causing heartbreak. But the thing that she doesn't realize, the thing that this, this devil energy, whoever this is, doesn't realize is that, one, this, protect, this, this uh, relationship is divinely guided. It is protected you know, this union has taken place or it will take place. Like this, this is meant to be. And you can't really screw something up that's destined. You just can't. If you try to screw something up that's destined, your karma will be so bad. And I'm not usually one to preach about karma. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, but I feel like for this couple, like his spirit guides are pissed and her spirit guides are pissed. Like, look at this, look at this energy here. Like, someone's spirit guides are pissed, and I think what this karmic doesn't even realize is how bad her karma is about to be for trying to come near this, for trying to stop, trying to cause heartbreak, and and trying to even interfere with a connection that's this divinely guided. Um, so with the Nine of Pentacles here, Nine of Pentacles is all about reward after hard work. This is someone that's, you know, they worked hard for everything that they have. This someone, this is someone who who really wants to earn everything that they have. This is someone who's worked hard. This could be financially, this could be with love, just someone who's been through a lot, someone who's really worked hard to get to where they're at. And this karmic basically wants to take that away from this person. They want to cause heartbreak just out of out of bitterness just cuz. And, you know, what they don't realize is that these blessings with the sun card here too are, they're meant for you. They're meant for your person as well. They're meant for you guys as a couple. They're meant for you guys individually. This is just your birthright. And I don't know if you guys noticed how my, how my phone was ringing. Um, and I had to end the call because I was, I was trying to, I think it was like work or someone was trying to call me while I'm doing this reading. And it's, it's kind of like that energy with the karmics where it's like they try to throw little things here and there to separate this or to cause chaos, but it's like they can't. It's just little things. It's like that phone call. It's like, okay, well, I just ended the call. Like, just like that. You know what I mean? Like, they don't really have any power. And that's the energy. That's the message I'm channeling that's coming through really strongly too is that the karmics' power is an illusion. They don't really have any power over you or over your person either. You know, like I said, this is meant for you. The sun, the page of pentacles, this new start. All of this energy is is yours. It's your birthright. It's your person's birthright. You know what I mean? Like you have good karma from past lives as well. So it's like this is this is meant for you. And I feel like it's also saying, let me see here. What other card did we get? We got the, yeah, the devil card. So it's like with this devil energy, it's like some kind of third party energy. And this could be, I mean, for a lot of you, it's probably is like a toxic ex that does not want to let go, even though the relationship has been over for probably months or years, like they don't want to let go. And there's something I want to say about that too, that I've been channeling as well, is that for a lot of you, this person is not letting go of your person, not out of love, but they're not holding on to your person out of love. They're holding on out of bitterness. And this is what these cards are saying as well. It's like, they just want to keep your person stagnant. They just want heartbreak. They just want chaos. They don't want to see your person built. And this isn't just when it comes to love. They don't want to see your person build financially. They don't want to see your person build... Um, or this could be you. This could be you as well. Yeah, well, they don't want to see you or your person build financially. They don't want to see someone um, build when it comes to love. They just don't want to see someone have this kind of life that they're just not going to have, that, you know, this other person's never going to have. 
you know, they just want to cause that chaos. And it's like, no, you can't. This, this is destined. This relationship is destined. This is, this is a very deep, very psychic soulmate or twin flame connection that's meant to be. And this toxic karmic, like, is not going to, they're not going to be able to do anything about that. They're just not. They can, they basically have two choices. They can waste their life away being bitter and angry and trying to separate this, this power couple right here. And you know what? They might cause a little drama here and there, but this couple is going to, they're going to be together. They're going to be together. You know what I mean? Like this is meant to be your spirit guides and your person's spirit guides are going to protect this relationship with everything. Like this is a divine connection. So this karmic is not going to be able to get in the way of that. And I think that the karmic thinks that they can, but it's just, it's not going to happen. It's just not when it's destined like this. It's just not going to happen. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say about that too is, for a lot of you, it's like this person is is holding on to your person out of, I mean, it, like I said, it could be you. It's like, it, it could be your person or it could be you, but some, some, some toxic karmic that's in devil energy is trying to hold on here. And it's not necessarily out of love. It's like from the cards that I get, and I'm going to clarify this too, because I want to, I want to see what this energy is that I'm feeling. Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's like a very angry energy. To me, that when I look at that card, I always, yeah. Four of Pentacles, it's like, to me, it's like selfishness. It's like hoarding. It's like wanting. This is also a karmic that wants money. So this, this karmic might be holding on to your person for financial stability. They probably don't give a flying F about your person, but they want to hold on for the money. Yeah, and they're also jealous of you because you're the high priestess or someone in this connection is the high priestess. Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, okay. The Tower. Yes, yeah, someone's, let's see. Someone's trying to let this karmic go and let this burden go and heal from this finally. And the karmic keeps coming in with these tower moments, like with these these threats, like, oh, you try to leave me and I'm going to do this, or you try to do that and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And it's pathetic. It's like, it's kind of pathetic at this point, honestly. And you have Angel de la Nude is all about the light after a period of darkness. So you're going to get through this. You're going to get away from the karmic or, you know, your person is going to get away from the karmic. Yeah, there's hope here with the star card. You do, you have this new start with, with your true love sooner or later. This is, like I said, this is destined with this star card here, it's like you have hope. You do have a future here. Um, and like I said, though, it's like the karmic, the energy I get is that the karmics are holding on to someone out of, it's not out of love, though. That's the thing. That's part of, because I kept getting when I was like, okay, when I was like, okay, what is the message here? What is it that my, my viewers are wanting to know right now? Like, what's going on? Like, why do I keep, what is this energy that I'm, you know, what is this energy I'm picking up on? And I kept getting something about illusions, like the karmic's illusions are, it's like a tower moment. Like all the karmic's illusions are just, they're being brought to light and it's chaotic. It's chaotic for your person. It's chaotic for everybody involved. But you know what? After that period of time comes, you know, the star, new hope. So with the tower card here, it's like, and I also just take that as the karmic not wanting them to move on. But like I said, it's like they're, they're holding on for money or they're holding on for power or for like image. Maybe some of them want to look a certain way publicly. Like they want, um, like maybe the karmic kind of knows, like they know that they're crazy. Like she, like he or, he or she, and your karmic could be a man, but I think for most of you, it's a woman, especially with that, with the, the female cards I'm getting here or someone in feminine energy. But, um, but it's like the karmic is, um, like everything's just backfiring on them. Everything's just backfiring on them and it's going to continue to do so, honestly. But I feel like some of them just like the like the image of like a family or they like the um I cuz I get like a very like vain energy from the karmic as well, like a very like egotistical, very um very controlling, just very icky energy from them. And I feel like some of them are holding on to you or holding on to your person. 
just for like appearances. Like they want, they like they want everything. Like behind closed doors, everything is absolute chaos. But they want like for some reason, this person just really cares a lot about what society thinks. So it's like they want that illusion of. Um, you know, being a happy family or everything being good in their life. And this could just be for their personal life too. It might not even be like the illusion of like having a happy family, but it, it might just be the illusion of like, oh, I'm stable. I'm, I, you know, I have this, I have that. It's just all ego. It's like they, you know what I mean? It's just, it's all ego. And I feel like this person is just digging their claws in and trying to hold on to, to, to someone here. And it's just, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. And it's kind of sad and pathetic. So I think that's something that like some of you need to know, because I feel like some of you like, like you feel like it's your karmic and you feel bad for them or like your person feels bad for the karmic. They're like, oh, like this person doesn't have anyone. Like they still love me, yada, yada. It's like, no, they don't love you. This person is just bitter and insane. That's it. Like there's no love there. They're just bitter and psychotic and they're, they're genuinely just a bad person. They just want to cause chaos for the sake of causing chaos. They want to hold on to your money. They want to hold on to appearances. They want to look, they want to use you to try to look like they're stable and healthy and happy and they've got a good family life or whatever else. But it's like, it's, it's an illusion. You know what I mean? Or they're just, some of them just hate you. Some of them for, okay, for some of you, it's like someone's holding on to your person and like, you're kind of jealous and you're like, okay, like, you know, like you're thinking that she loves him or, or whatever, or that they love each other. And it's like, it's more like, it's more like she hates him and she just doesn't want to move him to move on. She knows that, well, didn't we get the, did we get the high priestess here? I, I seen the high priestess. I thought we got the high priestess here, but she knows that you're this per, this queen of wands or this king of cups. Like she knows that, she knows that this relationship is, is beyond her. It's above her. It's, it's untouchable. And I think intuitively she does know that. And it's like, for some of you, it's like, yeah, she just, she just hates your person or she just hates you. She could be jealous of you as well, because you might be psychic and intuitive and she might wish that she had these spiritual gifts that you have, but she doesn't. And she knows that. And you know what? The reason that she doesn't have these spiritual gifts either is because she's, she's, I don't want to say she's not worthy of them because it just seems so harsh, but it's, it's kind of like that. Like I don't sense a lot of spirit guides around this person. Like there are certain people that are just so divinely protected and it's like, you're protected. Your person's, you know, your person has this divine high vibrational energy around them. Like they have spirit guides around them, but it's like this karmic is so toxic that they actually don't have very many spirit guides that are willing to work with them. Like they don't, it's sad, but they don't have angels in their life. Like angels don't want to be around this, this devil energy. They don't want to be around this karmic's energy. She is too psychotic. She's too toxic. She's too dark. And it's like her soul is dark. It's like, this is like someone who almost doesn't have a soul or someone who just has like a very, like, like a demon soul or something like that. Something of that nature, like, or like a succubus soul. So it's like someone and into like to people that look on like to people that look in on this, like a lot of people probably feel bad for this woman. They probably like see her as like a victim, like, oh, poor, like poor her. She's been through so much. She's, you know, she's in pain. Doesn't isn't someone that in, that's in that much pain and that bitter. Isn't some isn't that someone who needs angels and um, spirit guides more than ever. But it's like, no, you have to see what her soul is. You know what I mean? And it's like, there's either no soul there or there's a very like demonic or succubus soul there. Because if this was like a human soul or like even, you know, another type of soul, it's like she would have angels, even if she was on a dark path, even if, you know, she had lost her way, she would still have angels and high vibrational spirit guides trying to guide her out of this. But this woman actually doesn't have any of that. This woman does not have like she doesn't have this, the support of any spirit guides really. I see like a few, like I see like a few of them, but they're like, they're like very weak spirits or they're like spirits that are like not, they're not good spirits. Like they could be like demonic spirits or that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like they're not, um, there's just not a lot of support for this woman. The universe does not support this woman. I, as harsh as it might sound, 
Like, she does not have the love and support of the universe, of her spirit guides, of, you know, whatever. And it's honestly her own karma. It's, it's, I mean, it's her, well, I mean, it's her soul, too. It's honestly her soul isn't good. I'm not going to lie. That's what I feel. That's what I'm channeling. I have to give, you know, I have to give the message as it comes, even if it's dark. And that's what I'm, I can't lie. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm hearing. That's what the cards are saying. And it doesn't mean that it applies to every single one of you, like, but for, for the most part, for whatever reason, like, I just don't, I'm, like, I'm getting a visual, and it's like, I see you and your person, it's like, you've got this good energy around you, you've got this high vibrational energy around you, and this other, this other toxic karmic, it's like, she just doesn't have a lot of support, she doesn't have universal support she just doesn't it's like the universe is just not on her side and for some I don't want to say for every single one of them that they're like a a succubus or a demon or like no, soulless or whatever I mean I'm sure there are some that have human souls but they're just not supported it's almost like how do I explain that energy I think what the karmic doesn't see coming for, of many things is just how bad her karma is about to be. And I usually don't say that. Like, you you guys know me. I usually, I'm not one of those, like, oh, love and light and positive thinking readers. Like, I'm not like that. And I can actually say, because usually, to me, karma usually repeats over a period of lifetimes. Like, usually if someone does something pretty bad in one life, like, it repeats into the next lifetime. This bitch is so crazy and so toxic that her karma, like her spirit, like your spirit guides and your persons are not even going to wait to give her that bad karma in the next life. I mean, she'll have it in the next life too, but she's actually planting the seeds to have this bad karma, like sooner than she thinks, like within a couple years, maybe sooner. I could honestly see jail time for this woman um, because she's that crazy. I feel like this is someone who goes off the rails. I feel like this is someone who is... Um, I could just see her like in public, like getting drunk in public and like screaming at someone or like hitting someone in public. Or I could see her also being involved in some um, like money laundering or like some kind of not money. I don't want to say money laundering, but like not money laundering, but I could see her like stealing. Like I could see this woman going off the deep end and stealing. And I think that's where she's, you know, that's where she's headed. And that's that's her own karma. That's her doing this to herself. That's, you know, no one's responsible for that. This is what she's, she's making her bed and she's going to be forced to lie on it. And it's, it's going to be horrible for her. It's honestly going to be horrible. Um, Cause I could just see her flipping out and I could, I could see jail time for this person. I think the more that that's what she doesn't see coming is I think that the more that she tries to mess with your person and the more she tries to mess with you, the more the worse her karma is going to be. The more that she tries to stop this divine connection that just cannot be stopped, it will not be stopped. This is true love. You can't stop true love. You know what I mean? Like you can try to delay true love. Like you can try to, you can try to do breakup work or whatever, but honestly, it's not going to work in the long run. Like if this is destined, that means that there's, there's certain karmic laws. There's, there's be, there's very high vibrational, very powerful beings protecting this connection. Like there are, I mean, not to get too into it, but like there's I, I sense beings and souls that are very powerful and from different realms, including angel souls that are protecting this connection. And there's certain karmic laws where it's like if you try to to mess with something that's meant to happen, like if you try to screw with destiny like that, you're you're just it's going to backfire on you. And this person is actually it's like she's digging her own grave like. Anything good that she was going to have this lifetime is about to be taken from her. Like, this woman could... If they have kids, she could be losing custody. If she has, like, a car or something, maybe she's behind on payments, her car might be taken from her. Um, how I could see family issues, losing friends, um, losing a house even I could see a lot of bad things happening to this karmic if she continues on this way there's just karmic I just keep hearing there's karmic laws that she's violating that's what I keep hearing that's what keeps coming to my head is like there's there's certain laws that are in place there's certain things that are just meant to happen and this this is this relationship this divinely guided relationship is one of those things that's meant to happen look at this with the sun card here too moving forward together as a couple as a power couple and 
I just keep hearing like karmic laws are being broken. Like she, she would be terrified if she knew what she was getting herself into. If she knew what she was doing, if she knew how much she was pissing off your spirit guides and your person's spirit guides, she would be terrified. She would probably stop whatever she was doing and beg for forgiveness. Like it's, it's, it's no joke if this is a serious energy and that's, I guess that's why I was called to, to do this reading because I didn't really feel I wasn't really up for doing a reading, but like I had like this burst of energy today where I was just like, okay, this needs to be put out there, like for whatever reason. And like I said, I kept hearing that song like I need a sign, so like maybe like you need a sign or your person needs a sign. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think for for those of you, so like I said, some of you are feeling bad for this karmic, or your your person is feeling bad for this karmic. And honestly, if you continue to allow like guilt and um, allow your empathy to get the best of you, you're, this person is like a psychic vampire, basically. And she's going to continue to drag you or your person down as long as you let her. You have to like take this like sword and just cut this out now. You have to cut this person out. You have to or not even cut this person out, but at least set boundaries and at least protect yourself. Because I feel like energetically this is like a succubus soul this is like this could be someone that's trying to um she might be trying to have sex with your person or or you know whoever or maybe she likes to have a lot of sex with different people because she's a succubus and she likes to take their energy because i'm getting something about like taking someone's energy like taking someone's like she doesn't like i just see like like just like an emptiness and it's like this person tries to like take other people's energy and it's like that cycle needs to be ended or it's going to continue like this person's not going to get better this person already has um a lot of bad karma and it's like they can decide if they want to keep doing like keep trying to mess with you know destiny and they're not going to be able to like it's not going to work but they're going to have so much bad karma that God, they're just, they're going to realize at some point it wasn't worth it. They're going to, they're going to find themselves in a situation where they're like in jail or something else like that. And they're just going to be like, damn, that wasn't worth it. That wasn't like, they're, they're going to look back and they're going to have regret. And I'm not going to lie. They already have a lot of bad karma, but it's like, they can decide if they want to continue and have even worse karma, but they're pissing your spirit guides off and they're pissing your person's spirit guides off is basically what I feel. And they don't, they don't know the energies that they're messing with. They, they just they don't they don't know what they're doing this is someone who also doesn't really um this could be someone that's doing black magic or someone who's done breakup work and they honestly their spells like they're not um i don't know i don't want to say they're not powerful but it's like they don't know what they're doing like they don't understand what they're calling on and what they're summoning on when they do it like they're not they're not um it's like they're like a baby witch or they're, um, what, like, how do I explain that energy? Like this person is egotistical and cocky. So they think, yeah, my spell is super powerful. I'm getting, I'm getting what I want, but it's like, it's just in their head. It's like an illusion. It's like, that's just their own cockiness. In reality, they're sitting there lighting a candle or doing like some kind of weird, creepy. I, I feel like they do some weird shit with magic. Like they do some dark stuff. And I, for, for not for all of you, but for a lot of you, this person does some dark magic, but I feel like they, they think like, yeah, I'm so powerful. I'm such, I'm so big and bad. And it's like they, if they realized if they saw the room, if they saw the spirits in the room, they would stop the spell work and they'd be like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Cause they would realize that they might have like a couple little baby, you know, demons or whatever, like little, little, little little imps nothing like that are like okay I'll work with you but if they saw like the gods and goddesses and the angels and like the dragon souls and all the other beings that are around that are like oh I hope that bitch doesn't but if she does like they're 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 ready to mess they're ready to destroy this woman they're ready to take everything from this woman they're ready to like leave this woman homeless jobless uh I'm hearing barren, like she's not going to be able to have kids again, or like she's going to lose her something, like she could lose her kid, something, something, I don't know what, but I'm just getting like, I'm getting bad energy, but I'm like, yeah, if this woman could see the room when she does spell work, when like, when she tries to do, do her spells, it's like, cause she, she, like I said, she has this little ego boost. She has these little imps or demons that like sit on her shoulder. And then she's like, oh, look how powerful my spell was. But it's like, ooh, like, 
<laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> like, it's just an illusion. Like, if she saw the other spirits that are, like, watching this, that are documenting this, what she's trying to do, she would be terrified. She wouldn't want to even touch the spell work. So I just want to put that out there because, like, some of you need this warning that this is a succubus soul. This is not someone that's going to get better. This is not someone that's going to change she's going to keep being crazy. She's probably going to get crazier and crazier, actually, with age. She's probably going to get more bitter. Um, and I'm just putting that out there because some of you, and I feel like, so, so this could be you. It could be that your person is stuck in this situation and maybe you have empathy for this karmic. You're like, oh, like, like I don't like her, but I feel bad for her. Like, I'm sure she's been through a lot. Like, I don't want to be the other woman. Um, or it's like maybe you're in this situation and it's like this is like, you know, some ex that you have some, like, like you just feel bad for them or you feel like some kind of tie to them. And what I'm getting here is like, don't, because honestly, this person is just like I was saying before, and I can't reiterate this enough because some of you don't get that. Some of you don't get it. Some of you are like watching this. You're like, maybe there's some good in this person, but like, no, like, listen, listen to me. This person is just using your, per using you or using your person for money or they're using them for appearances, or the, the third energy that I got was someone that's just bitter because, you know, their life did not pan out how they wanted it to pan out, and they just hate your person. They're pretending like they love them. Like, they're pretending like they love them. They want, you know, they want a happy home with them. They want to work things out, but honestly, they just hate your person, and they want to try to take away everything that's divinely meant for your person. Like, they want to just ruin their life. Like, they're staying just for the sake of making you miserable like they're not staying because they love you they're staying because they want your money or they want to just make you absolutely miserable like they just want they get off on seeing you unhappy and I don't think some of you realize that I think some of you are like like feel like your empathy takes the best of you and it's like no like this person really gets off on seeing you unhappy like they genuinely love it when you're upset they genuinely love it when you're angry when you're upset like they genuinely just, they're like a psychic vampire. They get off on that energy. They're like a succubus. They feed off that energy. When you're, when you're upset, when you're crying, like they love it. They might pretend like they don't. They might say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I don't want to hurt you. But like inside, like on like a spiritual level, they're like smiling. Like they're happy to see you or your person in pain. Like they love pain. They love chaos. Like this is someone... This is someone who is just acting out of pure hatred, but they're trying to present this image to your person and to other to or to you or to the world that they're a good, decent person and that they're acting out of love and they just, you know, they just want a family or they just want no. They just want energy. This is a psychic vampire that just wants energy. They want pain and they want drama. They want chaos. And that's not gonna change. This person is dark on a soul level. This isn't someone who's this isn't someone who's a good person who's a little bit lost. This is someone who is genuinely dark. If they are a human soul that's just dark, because like I said, not for everyone, like for a lot of you, I do feel like this is a succubus soul. For some of them, like maybe it is a human soul that's in there. But like they're, um, they've probably been dark for a few lifetimes. Like this isn't something that just happened in one lifetime. This is like someone that's probably been a bad person, like like probably been a psychopath in their previous lives and this is someone who's not learning the karmic lessons so if this is a human soul it's a human soul that's not learning their karmic lessons it's like each lifetime they continue that cycle of bitterness and insanity and they're doing it to themselves like there's no one to blame but themselves and like I think that's what they don't realize is like I said they're about to have their they're going to end up losing everything they're going to end up homeless like they're going to end up losing everything that they it's just, it's just not a good energy. They're just, they're making their karma worse. They're just making it worse and worse. And like I said, they, they don't, they don't even realize it. They don't even realize that they're hurting themselves when they, when they do this dark magic, when they try to control you or control your person, when they make these threats, it's like, they don't realize that they're actually, all this is coming back on them. It's like your spirit guides take that energy and they're like, they're put, they're going to put it back on them. And it's like, it's like that energy is stored and it's like, it's not going to go away. There's no, there's no way out of this. You know what I mean? It's like this, this might not manifest immediately, but it's like a couple years down the line, see where this karmic is. She's probably going to be homeless or she's going to be in jail or it's just not a good energy. And I'm, I'm, that's just what I'm getting. And I can't lie. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm feeling. Um, and you and your person are being blessed, to be honest, like you're, you're protected, you're blessed. 
Um, you can always do protection candles as well if you want to, but I mean, this, this is destined, this is meant to be. I just wanted to put that warning out there. I mean, it just, it just all came, it all poured through. I all just, I, it just channeled through when I, um, when I pulled these cards, I was like, okay, I know this energy. I know what this is trying to say here. So it's like, yeah, this person is acting out of hatred. This, there's no, there's no helping this person either. There's really just not because there's the good that you think you see in them is an illusion. It really is. And I hate, I usually don't say stuff like that. Even when I do, I've done third party readings in the past and I've gotten some bad energy where I'm like, okay, like this person's going to learn and grow and eventually they're going to be a better person, but just not with your person. No, this isn't even that. This is like, this is like a, this is a bad energy. This is a bad person. Like this person is darker and more corrupt than you guys even realize. Like this is, there's some stuff behind the scenes like that this person's done like I, there's just there's some bad energy here let me just say that um this per I don't see this person getting better this lifetime I honestly just don't I feel like if they stop their ways like maybe like in the next lifetime they might have some good karma but I'm not feeling it um I mean if they stop their ways now like maybe they could repent and maybe their life wouldn't like maybe they could like not lose their home and not lose everything you know what I mean like maybe maybe if they like stop the dark magic now and they like repented and asked for forgiveness and just said like hey I want to get my karma straight like like let go of everything like just stayed in their own lane stayed in their place stop being manipulative like I feel like they would also have to be in service to others though to, to make up like they would have to like work with the homeless or they would have to like They'd have to do something good. They'd have to do something positive to balance out all the bad karma they've already accumulated. But if they did that, I could see it being possible that they do get to keep their house or they do get to, you know, like everything doesn't turn horrible for them this lifetime. But it's only a possibility. And it's like, I mean, like, yeah, they would have to, like, if they stop this now, then I could see that happening. But, um, but yeah, they, they go on like this for another, another six months, another year, another, you know, however long, then they're going to get past that point of no return. They're not there yet, but they're going to get to that point if they keep on like this. Um, and they just, it's sad. It's kind of, it's sad. It's like they don't even realize it. They don't even know. It's like this, like, point, like, it's like they're planting these seeds and they think that this, they're going to plant something and it's going to turn into this beautiful, beautiful river or whatever or some you know what I mean like it's like she's planning something and she thinks it's going to turn into something beautiful and it's almost like it's like poison it's like it's going to turn into something it's like she's she's digging her own grave right now she's basically all this energy she's putting in it's you guys are protected from it and it's also like all this is coming back on her to screw her life up so so yeah it, if I was the karmic, I would probably drop it. I would probably move on and keep what I still have, you know, be it a home, be it a car, be it whatever family or friends I have left that I haven't, you know, sabotaged the connection with yet. Like I would keep what I still have while I can. Cause like I said, I feel like maybe like I'm getting, I keep getting six months to a year, like six months to a year more of this. And she's going to be past that point. Like she's going to be, I don't know what's going to happen. Like if she would be in jail or what it would be, but there's just something that I, I'm just getting this energy that it's like, there's like, there's spirit guides that are willing to kind of like forgive her and like, okay, like, let's see, can you change, can you be a better person this lifetime on your own? Um, and then maybe your karma won't be as, as bad. Like maybe you can keep the things that maybe you can keep the house. Maybe you can, you know, maybe your life will be okay the rest of this lifetime, but I'm just getting that there's going to be a point of no return within six months to a year that I keep getting that date that that's going to be like the breaking point where, and it could be sooner for some of you, but I'm just getting that that's that point where it's like the karma can't come back from, from what, it, like, she just, there's no return. Like, her spirit guides, she'll be begging for forgiveness, she'll be homeless, and she'll be screaming and crying and saying, please, like, just give me another chance, and they're gonna say no at that point. So it's kind of like she's gotta stop this now, or her life is gonna be screwed. You know, that's kind of just how it is, and it's like, and if you think about it, it's like, the karmic has two options here. It's like, she can keep being hateful and bitter, 
and she can ruin her own life. She can, you know, she can find herself, like, if she's younger, she can find herself 50 years old, just alone and bitter, no friends, no family. Um, you know, sabotaged all her relationships. Or it's like she can stop this now and try to get on a better path. And, you know, maybe she will have some good things in store if she can balance her karma out. You know what I mean? But, like, this karmic's focus should be balancing her karma out right now because she has so much bad karma right now that it's, like, she needs to balance that out or she's screwed, basically. Um, so it's like, yeah, she can keep holding on to this. She can keep trying to ruin people's lives. She can keep trying to be, you know, being bitter and angry and trying to cause drama just for the sake of causing drama. And it's all going to come back on her and her life is going to be absolutely miserable. Or she can let it go and she can focus on, you know, like I said, balancing her karma and moving on. And possibly, you know, if she's lucky enough, maybe even manifesting someone that's actually going to love her just as she is. Because the reality is this is not her person and she knows that. Like she did not love your person. There is no love there from what I'm feeling. Like this isn't, this wasn't like a happy relationship that like, oh, you just came and, and split this up or whatever. Like, no, this is like, like, she knows that this is not her person. She knows that he drives her crazy, that that there's they're not compatible. There's, like, I'm getting, like, communication differences, personality differences, um, like, drama, chaos. Like, she can't stand him. Like, she doesn't like him as a person, and, and vice versa. I don't think he likes her as a person either. Like, he just, you know, it's just not, there. it's just, like, this isn't her person. And... You know, you're not her, you or your person are not, are not her person either. It's like, it's just, it's not, there's no compatibility there. It's, it's like, there's just, I feel like someone just got married, just, or like, I, if they, I don't know why I said that. That was weird. If they got married or if they've been like, this could be like a relationship. They might not be married, but I'm almost feeling like an obligation. Like there wasn't, there was never love there. There was never true love there. This was just kind of like a, just like a karmic cycle that repeated longer than it was meant to repeat basically. And it's sad because it's like, why would you want to hold on to that any longer? Why would you want to hold on to someone that does not want you? Why would you want to hold on to someone that does not genuinely love you? Why would you want to hold on to someone that wants someone else? Why would you want to hold on to someone that um, doesn't make you happy? Someone that you can't stand? Someone that just doesn't resonate with you? Like, what do you get out of that? It's like, you know what I mean? It's like the karmic's going to find herself alone. She's going to find herself like, it's like the longer the, she holds on to that, the more miserable she's going to be. And I honestly feel like when she has these realizations and epiphanies, some of you, not all of you, but some of you, like your spirit guides are, I don't want to say, they're not going to go easy on her, I don't feel, but like for some of you, if the karmic does have these realizations, like, she might actually be able to balance out her karma is kind of what I'm feeling. Like she could have these realizations like, like, wait a minute, why am I wasting my life away on someone that doesn't love me? Why am I wasting my life away on something that's not meant for me? Why am I wasting my life away on, you know, someone that really can't stand me, someone that just doesn't resonate with me and I don't resonate with them either. It's like, I don't, this isn't my person either. It's like, it reminds me of, um, did you guys ever watch Once Upon a Time? I love that show so much. Oh, I'm such a cheese ball. I know. But I, okay, so like the first season when, um, when Mary Margaret and, uh, so Snow White and Prince Charming, Mary Margaret and David are like together and they're, they're sneaking around and they have to hide from, from Catherine. They, um, you know, cause they know that they know this is destiny. They know this is true love. They know that there is a past life connection here. And, you know, Catherine's getting jealous and the evil queen is kind of helping Catherine and trying to, you know, split this couple up. And then in the end, Catherine's like looking at a picture of Snow White and Mary Margaret. And she's like, look at the way he looks at her. Like, he never looked at me like that. Like, look at his eyes. Like, look, look at how in love he looks. I want someone that looks at me like that. I want someone who loves me that much. I want someone who's sacrificing that much for me you know what I mean like she goes and tells the evil queen that like she shows her I think the evil queen shows her a picture shows Catherine her picture and she's expecting like the evil queen wants drama too which is you know part of this as well and 
she expects Catherine to get jealous and go break them up, but she actually does the opposite. She looks at the picture and she's like, look at how happy they are. Like, look at how happy he is with her. He never looked at me like that. Our entire relationship, he never felt that in love with me. And she was like, you know what? I want what they have. And she moves, she moves out of town she leaves. She goes and starts a new life. And she finds, she does find someone. She finds her true love. She finds her person. I honestly kind of get the energy that this karmic actually has a true love that she does have like a person and if she tries to separate you two she's not going to have that true love this lifetime I think that's okay this is actually making a lot of sense because I was getting six months to a year I kept getting that timeline and I think that might be what it's referring to I think it might be saying like that this person is this man the karmics already met them or like they're meant to meet but like he's gonna feel all this toxic energy from her and not want her or your spirit guides and his spirit guides are just going to be so pissed. They're, they're pissed already, but they're getting more and more pissed. Like they're just, they're done with this. They're done with this energy right here. But, or they're, so basically, or um, your spirit guides and your person's spirit guides are just going to get so pissed that they block the karmic. Like it's, and it makes sense. It makes sense because she is trying to block you too. She's trying to block this divinely guided connection. And if she, she's not going to be able to, but if she continues to try to do that, they're going to block her from her true love because I don't think she even, I don't think she even knows this. I think for some of them, like she does know this person, but for others, the karmic actually doesn't know that she's supposed to meet someone within the next six months that's going to actually love her crazy ass just as she is. Like they're going to love her just as is they're they're gonna you know what I mean like that's just it's it's gonna be he's gonna love her just as she is he or she male or female like he's gonna love this this woman just as as controlling and bitter and angry and dark and demonic and screwed up as she is this man would actually love her through that like this man would actually be like her true love like she would have that with this person and I feel like if she keeps holding on to, to the karmic relationship here, she keeps holding on to your true love, she's going to sabotage herself and her spirit guides are going to block her true love from coming in. And she's basically just not going to be with her true love this lifetime if she keeps trying to stop you from being with your true love this lifetime. Does that make sense? And it's, it's perfect karma, isn't it? If you think about it, like she's trying to block you from being with your person. So why would her, why would the spirit guides not block her from being with her true love as well? You know what I mean? Like they might just straight up say, you know what? She doesn't deserve this true love. And they might have him meet, have him or her meet someone else instead. Like I could see that happening. So yeah, that's an interesting energy. It's like, I don't think she even realizes it that by holding on to you or your person, she's actually ruining her own life and separating herself from her own true love that she would be meeting within the next six months. So that's why hopefully for everyone's sake, the karmic just lets go finally and moves on and balances their karma out and finds someone that actually loves them for them because you, you're not, you're never going to love this person or your person's never going to love this person. There's, there's no love there. They're never going to love this person. They're like, this karmic is never, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I hope, I know that's a lot to digest. That is just. I'm sorry when I channel, sometimes I just start rambling because it all comes through at once. I'm like, what the, what, what is happening? <laughs> What's coming through here? But, um, honestly, I feel it. I actually feel it. And I don't like, I don't like the, I don't like the karmics. I don't like that energy. I'm not going to lie, but it's like, you know, I want everyone to have true love. Even people like that. It's like, I hope she does get, I hope she does move on. I hope she does get that that person that's actually going to love her and want her for her. You know what I mean? Because it's like she's holding on to someone that can't stand her and she can't stand him either. <laughs> like they hate each other. You know what I mean? Or it's like she just wants, like I said, she just wants his money or she wants to control him or she wants, like she's just bitter and angry because she feels like she wasted so, so many years of her life with him so she just wants to fuck his life up just because just she can. Or she just wants the power. This is someone who's just controlling. It's like she just wants the control but, um, but honestly, I got like almost like a lighthearted energy when I, when I channeled that about her meeting her true love, 
Like when I just, I did not expect that either. I did not expect that reading to, this reading to go there, but I just realized like that it makes sense. It's like, cause I kept getting six months to a year and I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> and it's like, okay, she's meant to meet her true love in six months to a year. And if she tries to block you from your true love, or, you know, this could be your person. If she tries to block it, you know, it could be your person that's in this situation. If whatever, if she tries to block this, this divinely guided couple, these soulmates or twin flames, then she's, she's digging her own grave here. And she's actually going to end up blocking her own true love from coming in her own person, someone that would love her and financially and emotionally and mentally support her. Cause this karmic is very, um, money oriented is what I'm getting to. And so I feel like her person would be financially, you know, like, I feel like this, she's just very money oriented. It's like, she's just been trying to blog this divinely guided couple and it's just like not going to happen. And it's like, she's going to, like I said, she's going to end up blocking her own true love from coming in if she keeps this up. Cause I feel like, a what is that energy I'm getting? I, yeah, I feel like, because she is very money hungry, so I almost feel like her her true love is someone that's financially stable. I kind of feel like your person is like, I keep getting like they're not financially stable now, but they were before, or like they were meant to be financially stable, or like they're going to be financially stable again. But I, like I said, I feel like, like the karmic used your person for money. So it kind of, I mean... I almost feel like your person has trust issues because the karmic use them for money. Like they kind of have this like deep seated belief that like their, their value and their confidence equates to how much money they can make or how much money they're making. It's like very like materialistic, like they're like this karmic has kind of done a number on them, I guess, but they're healing from it now. They're not, they're, they're, they're protected. They're healing from this. They're not, she can't get to his head anymore. She just can't. It's like, and if she tries, she's like I said, she's going to be screwed. Um, her life is going to be screwed up, but I honestly, I really got like a lighthearted energy though. Um, oh, so, so sorry. Oh my God. When I channel, I swear I'm like a million miles a minute. I'm like all over the place. And this all came through, rushed through at once. I could feel it when I was getting those, those songs earlier today. I'm like, something wants to come through really strongly here. But, um, anyway, so I'm feeling, yeah, I feel like she like, okay. So for some of you, like I said, she used your person for money or she used you for money. And I feel like you, you or your person has trust issues because of that, because now they're like, they think that that's like, that's all they're worth is the money. And it's like, when they realize who this karmic is, when they realize how toxic this person really is, when they realize how bitter this person is, when they realize that this person hates them too, I think it's going to open things up. Cause I, like I said, I think for some of them, it's like your person or you, you're still having empathy. You're still thinking that this person wants, just wants love or they just want support. It's like, no, they want to drain you they they hate you they want to ruin your life they want to see you in pain they get off on you being in pain even if they don't say it even if they pretend like they support you it's all an illusion they love it when you're in pain they love it they hate you don't you like realize that there's no love here this is this is hatred right here this is pure hatred this, this couple hates each other they hate each other um but I honestly, I wanted to say, I did, I did, like, as much as I don't like the karmic, I honestly did get, like, a really kind of beautiful, lighthearted energy when I channeled, like, hey, if the karmic gives up, she has true love coming in. She can balance her karma out. Even though she's dug herself a hole, she can decide, does she want to keep digging this hole and just go deeper to the point where she's just stuck in this hole for the rest of her life? Or does she want to stop digging the hole, put the shovel down, and balance her karma out and have her true love come in? And maybe she can keep, you know, some of these things that she's going to end up losing if she keeps going down this path, trying to control this couple, you know, she's going to lose everything. But maybe if she stops now, she actually can balance her karma out, not end up homeless, not end up in jail and actually find her true love. But I'm just getting that your spirit guides and your person's spirit guides are just, they're this, they're this close. They're so close to just being like, screw this person, this person's this person's going to jail. This person's losing the house. This person's not meeting their true love. They're, they're, and they don't, they don't usually do that. That's pretty intense for, this is a powerful relationship for them, for this couple to be this protected to the point where that, where your spirit guides are just like, we're going to take everything away from this woman. If she keeps this up, that's intense. So 
I honestly hope that all three of these people end up happy. I hope that the karmic stops digging this hole. I hope that she, um, you know, starts realizing that she's basically, that this is poison. This isn't the, the beautiful river right here that she, she, she's not planting what she thinks she's planting. That's all I'm going to say. Um, you know, that she stops digging that hole and she actually manifests her own true love. And then she's going to get it. She's going to be like, okay, she's going to look back and regret too. She's going to be like, why the hell did I hold on to this person when I can't stand them, when I hate them? Why was I that bitter? Like, she's going to feel kind of pathetic, honestly. She's going to feel like, why did I, why did I bother with this? Why did I waste months or years of my life with this person, with this energy? Why did I do that to myself? I wish I had met my true love sooner. I wish I had let go of what was not meant for me and manifested my actual person sooner. You know what I mean? So hopefully this karmic does stop and they do balance out their karma and they do make amends with spirit guides. It's not even making amends with, with any humans. It's like you, this person needs to talk to this, the spirit guides that are pissed. Um, and spirit guides see through it. So this person can't lie to the spirit guides. If they catch her lying, they're going to, she's even more screwed than she already is. But, um, but yeah, that's, you know, hopefully she can just manifest her true love and move on. Well, she can, like I said, I keep getting six months to a year where she is, you know, she's, she needs to stop digging her own grave or she's going to be, she's going to be past the point of no return sooner or later, pretty probably sooner rather than later, later, honestly. Um, I don't see these two being on good terms though, honestly, I don't see them being on horrible terms, but I think that when there's like a dramatic karmic cycle that they keep repeating and then once they stop, they're not going to want anything to do with each other. Like she's going to be like, why the hell did I even want to be around you? And same with him. He's going to be like, he's going to like kind of like he's start. he's already seeing through her. He's already seeing how dark and toxic this person is, but he's going to see it even more. He's going to be like, ew, why, why did I ever allow you into my life? Like, he's just not going to, he's going to see that energy for what it is. The blindfold's going to be taken off. The illusions are going to be cleared. He's going to realize, I feel like some of them caught the karmic doing black magic. Or they caught them like, they caught them doing something. Like I, cause I, I got that a while. Like I was picking, I was channeling that a little bit ago where I was like, they caught them doing something. Like they caught them like, like talking crap or like they caught them doing black magic or doing something that they wanted to hide. So this person already realizes how screwed up this person, how, how dark this person really is. They always wanted to see the best in them. And now they're kind of realizing like, no, this person's actually just not my, it's not for me. Like it's just dark or not dark it's just just not a good energy not not compatible energies here um so there is going to be a disconnect here between these two sooner or later and that's either that's going to happen naturally or it's going to happen in a chaotic way but it's going to happen either way you know what i mean like the divine does not want these these energies around each other the divine wants this person to heal and be with their actual true love. And you know what? Same for this person. Honestly, they want her to heal too and balance her karma out and make up for all the bad, you know, all the bad karma she already has and be with her true love as well. You know what I mean? Like they, there's two very different, it's like, it's like these two very different paths. Like this person's meant to go down this path. This person's meant to go down this path. And they're trying to like, you know, if she keeps trying to force these paths to work, it's like there's going to be like an earthquake. It's going to, you know what I mean? Like it's just going to be chaos. It's not going to be good. It's going to be chaos for everyone involved. So I'm getting that the divine is, is stepping in and they're going to keep stepping in. And basically what I feel like if someone here is not willing to set boundaries, the divine is going to do it for them. If that makes sense. Like if someone keeps trying to see the good in this person or trying to, you know, compromise or whatever, this person's just going to end up in jail. This person's just going to end up screwed, like, or their true colors are going to come out like worse than ever or something. Like the divine is going to keep showing. It's like this person's trying to put the blindfold on and the divine keeps taking the blindfold off and being like, no, look it. This is not your person. This is toxic. This is bad. You do not want this energy around you. You know what I mean? Like, this is poison. This is straight up poison right here. And I just feel like the divine is going to keep taking that blindfold off. But it's like if this masculine does not be honest with themselves and realize 
how toxic this person is and realize that they need to set those boundaries and and limit the interactions between these two if the if this masculine does not realize that on their own i feel like i just feel like your person's spirit guides are tired of this person being so trusting and i feel like they're tired of this situation i feel like this person's spirit guides are about to, this this masculine spirit guides um or it could be feminine feminine or masculine but this this person's spirit guides are, are tired of this person being so trusting and they're going to just step in and this is going to get more chaotic until he faces the truth until he accepts it's almost like his spirit guides are trying to show him how toxic this person is and he's trying to like ignore it he's trying to be like oh maybe she's maybe not maybe like you know, give her the benefit of doubt. And if he, if he keeps doing that, more and more is going to be revealed. And she thinks that she can hide it. She thinks that she can hide the black magic, the control, going through this this person's phone or emails or whatever, um, or talking shit about him. I almost feel like some of them could also be talking shit about him to to his employers, like trying to get him fired or trying to get him, not fired, but like trying to get him, um, and this isn't for all of you. I just get the energy of like trying to like, or maybe like hoping that he gets fired or hoping that even though she wants his money, it's like she wants to see him miserable more than she wants his money. So almost like putting energy into things just not going well in his life. Um, it's just that kind of energy. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like, it's just, it's just chaos is basically what I get here. But it's like, yeah, it's like, it's, I just get this visual of like, there's like a spirit guide that's around this person and he keeps, the spirit guide keeps taking the blindfold off and being like, look, look at this. You don't want this. Look at like, look at how toxic this is. Look at how dark this person is. Like, look at this, po like she's got poison in her hand. You know, the, the, the divine is like, look, she's got literal poison in her hand. Why can't you see that poison? Why are you pretending like that's not poison? You know, that's poison. You know, she's poisonous. You know what I mean? It's like the divine is literally like screaming at this person, but they're waking up. I do feel that they're, they're healing and they're waking up and they're seeing how toxic this person is. And there's like things that they can just not deny anymore about this. And more and more truth is going to be revealed. They're going to see more and more darkness in this person. They're going to finally understand it. Cause like I said, I just, I'm just getting that if your person does not set boundaries and distance themselves and protect themselves from this energy vampire, the divine is like done. The divine, the divine is done with this person. The divine is going to, and the divine is only going to keep showing this person how dark this person is for so long before they just move this person out of this person's life for good, which could be like this person goes to jail. I honestly, I keep getting that. I keep getting this person could go to jail. This person could snap in public and go to prison or jail. Or they could like, I don't know, like steal or do something crazy. Um, or it's, I don't, I don't know what that energy is. It's just like... Like the divine is trying to protect your person and it's like your person needs to step up and protect themselves and be logical and be honest about how dark this energy is and how poisonous this energy is and stop, you know, downplaying it. Stop seeing the best in everybody. They need to be honest with themselves now because if they don't start being honest and start protecting themselves and shielding themselves from this and, you know, energetically too, they need to shield themselves because this could be a succubus. Like I said, this might be a succubus spirit that's trying to drain their energy all the time and making them tired and exhausted and confused all the time. It's like this person's trying to put this person in a brain fog. They're trying to put, they're like, it's like this person visualizes this person having like dark cloudiness, like in their head, like where they can't think or see clearly to move out of this. And um, like I said, it's like, you know, the divine is going to keep taking this blindfold off so this person can see you know, can step up and see that it's time to make some life changes and cut this energy out and protect themselves and move towards their actual destiny. Um, but if this person keeps, you know, repeating these cycles and staying stagnant and staying, you know, in these stuck energies, then the divine is going to step in and it's going to be more chaotic. Like it's going to, it's going to be like a buildup is what I'm feeling where it's going to get more and more chaotic. Like, like, let's say like, a, let's say a couple weeks ago, um, she got caught doing black magic. Well, it's like the next time she gets caught, it's going to be like she gets caught messing around with another guy or she gets caught like in the middle of doing black magic or she gets caught like on the phone with someone telling, you know, saying like, 
talking shit. Like just like it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get more and more chaotic because this person's spirit guides are trying to show show him like, hey, look how messed up she is. Look how toxic she is. Stop. When someone shows you their true colors, don't try to repaint them. It's like that kind of energy where it's like, dude, like we're trying to protect you. We're trying to literally show you what this person is all about. You need to believe us. And he does believe it now. I'm feeling like he is, like there has been a shift. Like he does believe it. He does see it. He is acknowledging it. He is processing it. But um, but he still has to set very powerful boundaries and he has to, he has to set stronger boundaries. He has to set stronger boundaries and um, not continue to repeat these karmic cycles with this person. Otherwise, like I said, the divine is going to step in and it's going to be something like, like I said, this girl, like this woman ends up in jail or something like that. Or like, or she fucks his life up so bad that it's like he, like, loses his house or something. You know what I mean? Like loses his house or some shit, like just something where it's going to be like in his face where it's like, okay, I can't ignore this anymore. Like, and he's going to finally trust his intuition and be like okay I was seeing this because my spirit guides wanted me to see this they wanted me to know the truth and I need to accept the truth I need to acknowledge that this this darkness is real this is I'm not responsible for this no one else is responsible for this she's not responsible for this she this person is responsible for her own darkness she is digging her own grave this is all her no one can help her no one can this is just her this is her doing this to herself this is all her own bad karma that she's that she's you know what I mean? Like, this is all her. It's no one else. It's just her. Um, but yeah, the divine will step in and, and they'll set those boundaries for him if he does not do it himself soon. It's kind of the energy I'm getting where, where you know, I'm, I keep feeling like jail. I keep feeling like she could end up in jail. Or she could end up like... I don't know, maybe for like a couple of you, maybe she would like have to move away or something. Cause I know there's like, there's different, different, inter like there's, it's the same energy group, but there's like probably different variations of the story. Um, for those of you that are watching, but like, yeah, for some, it's like just some kind of distance where it's like, she could even get sick, honestly. I'm, I just, I don't know. I just feel like the divine is pissed and they're going to do whatever they have to do to protect this man. And, if that means this woman loses absolutely everything in her life, every good thing in her life, so be it. They're going to do what they have to do to protect him if he does not set his own boundaries. So if he sets his own boundaries and protects himself, the divine will probably maybe ease up a little bit, you know. But otherwise, they're going to keep, it's going to get more chaotic because they're trying to show him the truth about how toxic this person is. They're trying to make sure that blindfold and that cloudiness stays off of him so that he can see you know, so we can have this tower moment and accept how bad, how negative this person is. You know, there's things about this person that he doesn't even know about. Things that she has done that are so screwed up that he does not even know about. Like she, maybe things that she's never told anybody. Or maybe she's only told like a family member or something, but no one else knows. Things like that. They, like she's got a lot of secrets. She's got a lot of heavy, dark secrets. I'm not going to lie. But, um... But yeah, if he sets the boundaries and he kind of puts her in her place finally and shields himself and protects himself and it doesn't let her get that cloudiness in his head anymore. And she's, she can't anyway, but I mean, he also needs to, to put that, the intention up as well for himself. He needs to step into his own powerful power. Finally, he needs to step into his own power, claim his, reclaim his power and shield himself. And, um, yeah, like I said, if he doesn't do that, then I feel like. His spirit guides are just done with him being in danger from this person mentally or whatever it is. You know, they're just, they're, they're done with this person that should have moved on a long, long time ago, should have moved on months or years ago. Um, so like I said, they're going to end up just banishing her pretty much. I just, I just get banishment. Like they're going to like, he can shield himself and he can kind of like stay amicable to some degree, but there needs to be a, a, a major degree of separation where it's like, they only see each other and talk when absolutely necessary. Um, and I just keep getting like, if he doesn't st start being honest and seeing the truth and like, he sees the truth, like he sees it, he gets it, but he needs to, he's still, he's still digesting it. I feel, um, cause I feel like this is like a psychic vampire type. So like I said, sometimes she knows how to make him feel in the past. She's been able to make him feel bad. Like, Oh, I just, I had a hard life. Oh, I've just been through so much. Like, you know, it, I just, I want to change. No, no, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. She says whatever she needs to say because she's. A sociopath like 
She'll say whatever she needs to say to get her way. This is a very toxic person. And um, yeah, he started to realize that. But like I said, the more he realizes that and the more he starts like setting those boundaries and protecting himself and, and you know, bl blocking this energy, you know, the better, th the less chaotic things will be for everybody involved. Um, and like I said, if he doesn't protect himself, then his spirit guides are going to be like, you know what? Like we showed you the truth about her so many times and you kept getting in this cycle with her. You kept going back to this energy. You kept repeating these patterns and we're tired of it because you have a destiny here with someone else, with something else, with, with new energy. And you keep getting stuck in this stagnant energy, the same old patterns. They're just, the spirit guides are just going to take control and just be like, okay, screw this. We're just going to banish this person because we've shown you how dark she is. We've shown you how toxic and negative she is. And if you're not going to like, finally listen to us we're we're just gonna remove her completely from your life like we're just gonna banish her um i just get that i just get like she would move away or she would like end up in jail or like i don't know something something i just get like a strong like spirit guide here that's like i'm done with this like i just get like this very strong like almost like a scary spirit guy. This is like, this is like an Egyptian God or something I'm feeling here. That's like, I'm done with this bitch. Like, like you protect yourself or I'm going to protect you for, for you. And it's not going to be pretty. If I have to protect, if, if your spirit guide has to protect you from this woman, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be as simple as like setting boundaries and not seeing each other as often. And you know, if your spirit guide has to do this for you, they're going to banish this woman. Like, honestly, that's what I get. That's what I feel. Or, you know, it could be, like I said, this could be your person, however the story plays out for you guys. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's, I know that's a lot of energy. There was a lot that came through. I am surprised I even had the energy for that reading because that was a lot of, I'm probably going to go to sleep after this. That was a lot of energy. That was a lot. And it's 111 right now too. It's interesting. Um, God, where do I even go with this? I swear, sometimes I have to like look back on my readings because I'll go into like a trance, like I'll go into like a channeled state almost. And I have to like look back and I'd be like, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> it's like, it's chaos. But, um, but yeah, that's what's coming through. It's like, and I'm not saying that he has to cut her out completely. Like maybe there's like obligations where he can't, but it's like, there needs to be major like a major wall there, a major boundary, like some, like a major energy shift is what I'm feeling. But, um, yeah, I almost feel bad for this karmic. It's kind of sad. Cause it's like, but I don't feel, I don't, I shouldn't say I feel bad for her. I really don't like, cause like, she's not a good person. I can feel that energy that she's just very dark, very, very dark, a lot darker than you realize, darker than your person realizes. This person's, this person might've done some shit, like some, that could even be the jail energy that I'm feeling. She might've done something already. Like she might've, she might've physically hurt someone. She might have, she could have raped someone for some of you. Like she might have, um, and this isn't for all of you. This is just for like a couple of you. She might've like stolen from someone. There might be something that like some legal issue that comes back to bite her in the ass is kind of what I'm feeling for some of them. But, um, but yeah, hopefully he just shields himself and protects himself um, so that the spirit guide doesn't say screw this and just take over. And before she knows it, she's just banished. Like she's just out. Like she loses a job or something and she has to move or so something like that. I don't know what it would be, but, but um, I mean, it kind of ties in too to all this karmic energy if you think about it. Cause it's like, if she wants to avoid that, if she wants to avoid that banishment and that, that chaotic, you know, everything in her life going to absolute shit, she has to let go of this. She has to move on and then she can manifest her true love. This water that's poison right now can turn into something positive for her, actually, if she stops now. Um, and she can find that person that's actually meant for her. I just feel like if she... I feel like, I mean, I feel like your person comes into play here too, though, because it's like, yes, yeah, she has to do that if she wants her life to be okay. But your person also has to protect themselves and they have to guard themselves and they have to set those boundaries. Because I just keep getting strong when there's like a certain male spirit guide. Like there's like a few, there's a lot of spirit guides around both of you. That are, you're, you're this relationship and you guys individually, you're divinely protected. Um, but I'm just getting like, it's also, it's not just her. I mean, it's like, yeah, she has to let go 
and she has to move on if she wants her life to be okay. But he also has to let go of this karmic energy and shield himself and see and really fully grasp and acknowledge the truth about how dark this person is and protect himself. Because even if there's like a some kind of distance between them, if she's still doing black magic and she's still trying to manipulate him or, you know, do whatever, even from a distance, like the divine is just going to step in and be like, okay, well, you're banished now. You know what I mean? So honestly, by protecting himself from her, by putting that shield up, by putting those boundaries up, he's actually doing her a favor because the divine will go easier on her just a little bit because he's protected. You know what I mean? Because his spirit guides are getting pissed that he's not protected enough. Like he is very protected, don't get me wrong, but his spirit guides are getting pissed that he's not protecting himself enough. And like I said, they're going to just do it for him and just screw her life up um, if she keeps this up. But if he does it himself, if he's like, if he sets these boundaries himself and puts this wall between them and protects himself and clears his head and doesn't let her darkness come into, come into his energies field, then you know what I mean? Like the, like his spirit guides will be less pissed off because they'll be like, okay, this guy is finally protecting himself. Like he's, he's finally getting on his destined path. He's not getting wrapped up in these cycles anymore. So they'll be a little bit easier on her, but it's also, like I said, it's ultimately up to her as well to, to let go of this energy and balance her karma and manifest her, her true love and stop worrying about someone that's not her true love. Um, I just feel like if they do have to talk, it's going to be like at a minute, like, like basically these people are meant to talk at the bare minimum, like and not at all, or like at the very bare minimum. And like I said, either this person's going to make that happen or the divine is going to make that happen. But that's just the destined path is what I'm feeling. Because this, this is like, and I don't usually get this energy. Like, the divine is so sick of this woman that they're actually like, screw it. We're doing, like, we're taking care of this. You know what I mean? Like, it's that intense. Um. So, so yeah, I hope that both these people get off this merry-go-round because it's just going to get more chaotic and it's going to get darker if they don't. Um. I also feel like, I feel like your person, I feel like this masculine, or it could be a feminine, feminine or masculine, but I feel like someone here also has other energies that are like kind of stagnant that they need to let go of. Like they have, um, cause it's like, they're meant to have this new start with money and this new passionate start and they need strength to do that. We have like the infinity symbol here, which, which to me is like true love. This is like twin flames, twin flames are soulmates. Um, and they have the lion. It's like this masculine needs to get in touch with that lion energy, that lion spirit guy, that, 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 um, you know, this energy right here, this strength energy to have this new start and be willing, you know, it might be a battle at times, but it's like, you have this new start with, you have this power couple, you have this very sacred couple, this very divinely protected couple. And, um, You know, with the sun, that's like the most positive card in the deck that's like moving forward. It's it's abundance, it's happiness, it's everything. And um, Page of Pentacles, I feel like this could be a message about like a physical world message. I feel like this could also be about um, like a new job. So some of them, it's like your person might be holding on to other situations that are also over. Because I feel like your person is dropping up a lot of karmic cycles right now. Like a lot of toxic energy is in their lives that they need to let go of and wrap up. And so there might be some major tower moments for this person if they keep holding on to this old stagnant energy. It's going to get chaotic and it's going to get darker until they let go of this and are willing to close out these karmic cycles. Because I feel like some of them are also holding on to like toxic family members or toxic friends or like old stagnant jobs that are meant to end. And they're trying to hold on to that for dear life. And it's like those jobs are that that job is going to end. It's going to end. Like if it's meant to end, it's going to end. You know what I mean? Like, like the, the business is going to fall apart. You're going to get fired. Um, you know, if your, your family, like maybe your parents are chaotic, like just toxic. It's like you're like, or his, his or her parents are toxic. It's like, you know, you want to save that relationship, even though you know that they're not good for you. And then like, they end up like, backstabbing you or they end up like betraying you with this karmic or something or they end up um like there's more arguments with and you know what I mean it's like it's like I just get this energy of someone like clinging to these old stagnant situations and karmic cycles that are trying to wrap up and end 
because this person's afraid of the unfamiliar. They're afraid of the unknown. And if they keep holding on, it's almost like, like I always imagine, I, I, I know this energy because I've channeled this before um, for other people too, you know, outside of this energy group, just in general. Like I've, I've felt this energy in my readings from time to time. It's almost like a tidal wave that's just coming in. And it's like, here's this masculine that's like fighting it. And it's like, they're hurting themselves. Cause it's like this tidal wave is coming in and they're like, they're trying to fight it. And it's like, you can't fight a tidal wave. You got to go with it. And it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of life changes. There's going to be, you know, there's going to be endings. There's going to be endings with, with family members, with, with possibly with friends, with, um, with the karmic, with, with old jobs that are stagnant with, with toxic energies. It's like the divine is trying to, has been trying to show this person for a while, like, look at all this toxic energy around you. It's time to make life changes. It's time to free yourself. It's like the blindfold is off. The blindfold keeps being taken off and the masculine's like, oh my God, I want the blindfold back on. I want everything to be in under my control and predictable. And the divine is like, no, we're going to keep taking this blindfold off. And if you keep trying to put the blindfold back on, your life is going to get more chaotic because you're going against the flow. You're going against this tidal wave that's coming out, coming in. And the tidal wave isn't bad. It's like the masculine is so afraid of this tidal wave, but the tidal wave is coming in to clear out these toxic energies, to clear out old jobs, to clear out old, um, you know, karmic cycles, karmic, karmic people, karmic patterns, old energy, stuck, stagnant energy that's keeping this masculine tied down and drained and tired and confused and in this fog. It's like the divine keeps coming in to clear out the fog. And then the, in the past, the masculine has been like, oh my God, but I'm used to the fog. The, 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 you know, I'm used to it being predictable. And it's like, but predictable isn't always good. It's not, you know what I mean? It's like, let go, like, let go of this crap already. Just let go of this, this, like, the divine is showing you, like your spirit guides are showing you who these people are. They're showing you who the karmic is. They're showing you who, you know, your coworkers are. They're showing you who your family is for some of you. You know what I mean? I know those changes are scary and they might be heartbreaking. It might be like a three of swords kind of energy, like with that tower card that makes sense. But it's like, they're not showing you to hurt you. They're showing you so that you know the truth finally and and you can clear this old karmic energy up, all these old karmic cycles. It's like you've learned from these cycles. You've learned what you were meant to learn. You learned what you were meant to learn from the karmic. You learned what you were meant to learn from that that job or from that living situation or whatever. Like you've the karmic cycle has ended, and it's like you're trying to hold on to it because it's familiar. And you're gonna create more chaos and more stagnancy in your life the more you hold on to it. It's like you're fighting against the natural flow of things, and if you keep fighting it, it's like it's just gonna be more and more chaos for you. And if you get on board with destiny, you have this life in store for you that's more beautiful than anything you could ever imagine. It's like you might be getting a new job. You might be, you know what I mean? Like there might be a lot of things in your life changing. You might be making new friends. You might be meeting new people. Maybe people around you are toxic and maybe you feel alone, but maybe you're about to meet new people that are going to be like, maybe the the maybe a guy you're going to meet or a woman you're going to meet in the next year or so is going to be your best friend for life. You know what I mean? It's like if you let go of these toxic situations, it's like you're holding on to it out of familiarity. But once you let go of these things, your spirit guides are going to bring you more than you could have ever imagined. Like they're going to bring you that. It's like, it's like say you have a best friend that's like super toxic and controlling and like competitive or abusive with you or something and you're holding on to it. It's like, if you let go of it, the divine is going to bring you another best friend that's actually going to be, you know, like a, another king of cups, someone that's emotional and mature and someone who's on your level, someone who's going to be your partner. There's going to be like a healthy competitive energy or like a health, like just like a, like a better, like a more positive energy between you two. You know what I mean? The divine isn't asking you to just let go of everything and just have nothing. It's like, no, the divine already has all these blessings in store for you once you let go of this garbage. You know what I mean? Like, let go of that toxic best friend. And within a year, you're going to be meeting a, a best friend somewhere else that's going to be like your best friend for life. He's going to have your back. He or she is going to have your back for life. You know what I mean? Like, let go of that toxic family member and the divine is going to bring you someone that's going to be like family to you. It's going to be like your soul family, someone from your soul group, even if they're not biological family. You know what I mean? It's like, let go of that toxic karmic and you can have your queen or your king. You can have true love. You can have, you know what I mean? Like, you can have abundance. You can have more than you ever dreamed of. You just have to be willing to ride this wave and make these life changes. You know what I mean? Like the divine is going to keep shaking your life up. You're going to have more and more and more tower moments the more you try to hold on 
to stagnant, toxic situations that you've already learned from. Those karmic cycles have already wrapped up. Those situations are already over. Once you let go of these things, you create space in your life for new patterns, for, for new love, for, for new energies. You know what I mean? Like you have this person here for you already. You have this true love that's just right here for you, that you can have this. This is your life partner. This is like the person that you're meant to grow old with. This isn't just another karmic cycle. This is like your true love. This is like a power couple. You might even be building like a like a business together or something for some of you. You might have like a, because I, I just get like a new like a new career or something too for some of you. Not for all of you, but for some of you. It's like you have like, look at this. Look at this energy. It's like he or she is, is focusing on this and like manifesting, make it like the world is your oyster. It's like you can manifest whatever you want. You know what I mean? It's like you have this new energy. It's like you're so scared to to let go of things that aren't even making you happy. They've just been tying you down and stressing you out and keeping you stagnant. Once you take that blindfold off and you devote yourself to keeping the blindfold off and to, you know, keeping your yourself protected and keeping your vision clear, you're going to see the truth completely. And you already are like this person already is, or your person already is, however, you know, however it plays out. Um, and it's like, yeah, once you do that, the world opens up for you. The world is your oyster. Like these things can fall away and you can have your true love. You can have your destiny. You can have everything that's in store for you. Like you're meant to grow old with this person. Some of you don't think you are. Some of you are like, you know, scared of, you know, it's like, is, am I, am I? And like, no, really. Like you're meant to have that. You're meant to have like more success and more abundance than you can even imagine. The sun card is the most positive card in the deck. And you've got this son that's like everything. That's everything you could want. That's family. That could be kids even. That could be kids for some of you. That's a that's family. That's that's home. That's that's a new business. That's that's a new career. That's a that's it's the world is your oyster. It's everything. Once you let go of these old situations, you are so loved by your spirit guides too. You have so much protection around you. And your spirit guides want you to have this true love and this abundance and this new start in your life. They want you to have more than you ever thought you deserved or ever thought that you could have. Like that's your birthright. That's what you're meant to have. And no one can take that from you. They can try, but they're, like I said, they're going to be screwing themselves up if they try to take that from you. They're, they're All that energy is not even going to touch you. It's just going to go back on them and screw their life up more than ever. They're going to, this person, if this person keeps on, like I said, they're going to end up in a really bad situation and they're going to be like, damn, I wish I had let go of that person sooner. Or they're going to like me, like I said, if they, if they stop and they, you know, play their cards right and fix their karma, they might meet their true love. And on a positive note, they're going to be thinking, damn, I wish I'd let go of that person sooner. Cause I'd be like, wow, okay, this is what it feels like to have someone actually love me and want me They're, You know what I mean? Like they're going to notice that energy difference. They're going to be like, why the fuck did I hold on to this man that I can't stand? You know, but, but either way, this is your birthright or this is your person's birthright. You know, take it as it resonates to have abundance, to have true love, to have a life, this life partner, um, to have, you know, new career, new business, um, new energy, you know, dream home, like family, you know, a, a healthy best friend that actually loves you and have your back. I keep in the energy too. I'm like, someone here has a toxic best friend and you're like, well, fuck, if I let go of this best friend, am I ever going to have another best friend? Like I want someone to talk to about stuff. It's like, no, you will be like, you will. The divine has someone else in mind for you already as a best friend, male or female, male or female. The divine already has someone in store for you. If you're willing to let go of this toxic person, because there's a few toxic people in your life. It's not just one. But the divine has someone in store for you that's like, like, it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, they're, they're going to, they're just going to have your back. They're just going to have your back. Like they're, they're just going to get you in a different way. Like, you know what I mean? Some of you, it's like you've been in these stagnant, unhappy situations so much of your life that you don't even know what, what good relationships look like. But you're gonna know. Like you're you're meant to know. You're meant to have that. You're meant to have these good things. People have like confused you or your person and made you feel like you don't deserve these good things, but it's like, no, you actually do. Like this is you have good karma from your past lives as well. Like you're meant to have this abundance. You're meant to have this true love. You know what I mean? This is your person's destiny too. Like you're meant to have this together. Like you, this twin flame or soulmate couple, it's like you guys are meant to have this together. Like you're meant to have like 
like a business together, like, you know, like the same, like maybe like a similar friend group or something. I don't know. I'm getting like, I'm getting your person could introduce you. Like maybe for those of you that are watching and it's like your person that has this toxic best friend, I think you might know who your person's best friend is going to be. Like, you know, you have a man in mind. You're like, they would be really compatible. And it's, it's that person. Like, you know, this person's, um, like, you know, your person's soul brother or soul sister is what I'm hearing. Like, you know, their, um, like, you just, you, like, you know, like, you, you're, you're going to introduce them to their best friend or something like that is kind of what I'm feeling. Like, you're going to introduce them to better people for some of you is what I'm feeling. Um, damn, I've been an hour and a half into this. So I'm going to pull a few more cards really quick because I know that's a lot to digest as it is. And please let me know what you guys think of these readings because I, I do want to do more of these. Um, I just haven't been as drawn to do, like, the Zodiac readings, but I know that you guys like those, so I'm going to keep doing them for you guys, but, like, I haven't been feeling them as much lately. So I want to do, like, a more of a mix. Like, I'm going to do the Zodiac readings, but I also want to start doing these these stories as well. So if this is your story and you want me to continue on with it, like, in a couple days or so, like, you know, check for updates, just let me know. Just comment. Tell me what's up. Because um, I know there's probably several people that are in this energy group, you know? Um... I also want to add one thing really quick. So I'm going to pull a few cards and I want to add something really quick too, though. I do feel like the karmic might have threatened you with him. Like the karmic might have said like, oh, if you like the karmic, it's just, it's just, it's just a crazy energy. I'm not even go back into that, that fucking psychotic energy, but the karmic might have said like, I'm going to hurt this woman or I'm going to, I'm going to hurt you or I'm going to hurt your person. I'm going to like, I'm going to do black magic on them or I'm going to do blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do this. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. She, she can't, she, this, you're, you're protected. This relationship is protected. This relationship is divinely guided. And like I said, through this whole reading, if she tries to do any more black magic, it's all going to come back on her tenfold. She doesn't even know, like I said, she doesn't know that she's, that this is poison and that all that energy is going to come back and basically ruin her life. Like, like I said, she might end up in jail. She might end up just banished. She might end up it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good for her if she keeps this up. Um, so I just want to tell you that it's like she makes these threats, but they're illusions. It's like she's she can't do what she thinks she can. She thinks that she can like mess up this person's destiny or mess up your destiny or she thinks that she can um, like cause chaos or drama. Or maybe maybe she said something like, oh, I'm going to get her fired if you get back with her. She can't though. She actually can't. Like she's just not, I keep getting that message strongly from your spirit guys. She can't. She thinks that she can because she's egotistical and narcissistic, but she actually can't. This is divinely protected. If she even affected this person or affected either of you guys, like she would be screwed. Like her, like the divine would step in so quick but she wouldn't be able to, like, she wouldn't be able to take this person's destiny away from them. This is like, these are, there are things that are just meant for both of you guys that she cannot touch. You know what I mean? Like, maybe this person is like, um, on a spiritual path, or maybe this person is like on like a, like, maybe they're like working out, like, maybe they're working to become a lawyer, or they're working to become a doctor, or a, or a healer, or they're working to, um, they want to work with kids or something. And maybe the karmic's like, oh, I'm going to take that away from her. I'm going to do black magic. I'm going to do this. And then blah, 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 blah. She can't. She cannot. It's not going to work. This is this is divinely guided. This is meant for that person, for your person or for you. You know what I mean? Like, like your career path is meant for you. Same with your person. And that's going to be for you. Some, car some bitter karmic is not going to be able to take that away from you. That's meant for you. And like I said, if she even tries to touch that, it's, it's going to backfire on her so bad that she's not even ever going to want to touch magic again. So please just know that because like some of the, for some of you, it's like either you or your person get caught up in these, in these threats that the karmic makes because the karmic is so desperate. And it's like, don't just don't get caught up in that. Like, don't let yourself be gaslit, be smarter than that. Be more logical, set these shields up, set these boundaries up and free yourself and protect yourself. And this, you know, know that this is yours. Know that this connection is divinely guided. Um, you know what I mean? Stop stop getting caught up in the karmic's illusions. See through this. See the manipulation. See the bitterness. See the toxicity. See this poison finally. Stop thinking this is water. This is not water. This is poison. Be honest with yourself, okay? Um, 
you know, like I said, it's time to protect yourself. It's time to, it's time for protection. So I just want to say that because I, I just got that energy that like some of you are like, like either you or your person, it's like you're getting caught up in these like threats and you're like, what if she does do that? What if this, what if this? And you know, it's like, no, she can't. She just, she just can't. She's not as, she's powerless. She's not as powerful as she thinks she is. And like I said, she doesn't realize how much she's screwing up her own life and her own destiny. It's like she's, not only is she not taking your blessings away as a couple and individually, like not only is she not able to do that, but she's also taking, like I said, she's taking her own blessings away. She's screwing her own life up. She's, like I said, she could, if she keeps this up, she might end up blocking herself from meeting her true love and having, you know, a somewhat decent life if she keeps it up. So you know, just time to shield, time to stop listening to this, this, these illusions, time to clear yourself of these illusions finally, and realize that, you know, happiness is meant for you. You do deserve it. This true love is meant for you. You're going to have this. This is meant, this is, this is marriage. This is family. This is home. This is a new career. This is a new best friend for some of you that have a toxic best friend, this is a new best friend as well. This is this is new everything. This is just new energy. Once you're willing to protect yourself, take the blindfold off and keep it off. Be honest with yourself and um, stop getting in your head. Stop confusing yourself. Stop going back to old karmic ways of thinking, old karmic patterns, old toxic people. No, you know your truth already. You just need to shield yourself and hear your own voice and hear your spirit guides finally. Um, because like I said, abundance is yours. True love is yours. This, this divinely guided connection is yours. This is, this is meant to be, this is home family. This is, this is everything you could ever dream of. And it's, it's just on the other side of fear, this love, this true love, this abundance is just on the other side of fear. If you're willing to finally end these karmic cycles and stand in your power and your truth and, um, create this new life, you have this new life, this, this portal that's open for you right now if you're willing to take that leap of faith and make these life changes you know two of swords this new energy yeah no looking back you get nostalgic you're going to be right back there you get nostalgic and you get you start looking back you're going to be right back in the same like damn same old karmic cycle five of swords five of swords like same you know nostalgia right here with six of cups five of swords you know defensiveness backstabbing betrayal it's going to be the same some of you like keep thinking like well, maybe it'll be different maybe if i do this maybe like you're taking responsibility for other people around you that are toxic you're thinking like if i do this maybe this will change maybe if i communicate this way blah blah blah, blah. no these people are toxic there's no there's you know what i mean it's like you're confusing yourself and there's nothing to be confused by this best friend is toxic this karmic is toxic these patterns are toxic there, you know what I mean? It's like there's nothing to be confused by. You've already seen the truth, and it's like you're trying to sugarcoat it or you're trying to paint it out. To, you're trying to repaint someone's colors, and it's like, no. Like, you can communicate differently. You can do this differently and that differently, but these karmic cycles that are meant to end are going to end. Whether it's chaotic or whether it's smoothly, it's up to you. But these karmic cycles are closing out because you've, you've learned all you can for them, and the divine wants you protected and happy and abundant, and they want you to know your worth and your power and have this new start with your true love, with this new business, this new, this new best friend, this new, just new and just good energy. Like, it's your time for that, you know? Yeah, it might be painful letting go, but it's, it's time for that ending, and it's time to build. It's time to build with your true love, honestly. It's time to build. This person supports you more than you realize. They really do. Like you have that ability to, to build with your true love. Three of Pentacles is all about building something together. Ten of Ten of Swords is like rock bottom. It's like it's like, you know, no more struggling. Like you're struggling against the current, but just like just be in this energy and just let these things go. Like maybe it hurts, but it's time, you know? And once you do that, you, you're going to wake up and realize you have this power to make the world your oyster. You have this three of pentacles energy where it's like, it's like you have this new start. I don't even know how to say it. It's like you just, you have, you have this new start. You have this ability to build with this person, build a family, build a life, build a career, uh, build a home. Maybe some of you are even going to physically build a home with this person, like, you know what I mean? Like you're, yeah, Knight of Cups. Like you're meant to have it all. You are meant to have it all, you know? Once you just let go of, you know, once you stand your ground and protect yourself and take this sword, 
and you know I see it as like cutting the ropes too, like freeing yourself but also like just letting go of the things that are no longer serving you you know what I mean there might be like a period of like financial struggle but honestly if you're in a toxic job just go through it because eventually you're going to be the king of pentacles again maybe some of you have been the king of pentacles and you don't want to let go of that but like this this job might not be going anywhere for you and so it's like yeah you might be having a hard time letting go of that money and you might have some financial struggle but it's not going to last that long if you just go through it you're going to be the king of pentacles again you're going to have that financial stability the king of pentacles is like a man that's like grounded and financially stable this is like the richest man in the as, as far as all the four kings go in the deck this is like the one that's the most financially stable the king of pentacles and it's like you're you or your person is going to have that they might have to go through some financial struggle but it's like it's worth it to free yourself from that dead-end job or from those toxic people like, yeah, it might not be as much money as you're used to, but once you let go of those karmic cycles, it's like you're going to be the king of pentacles again. You're going to have that financial abundance again. And like I said, for some of you, might even be building this with your person. Yeah, this is like wishes fulfilled. This is like temperance, balance, finding that balance. Not investing too much, but not investing too little either. Knight of Swords. It's good energy, honestly. Yeah, I see two people here, they're like wanting to talk, but like they're not talking enough. But honestly, you need to be brave and, you know, talk to this empress or this this king, not, male, king of wands or empress. It's time for bravery. It's time to, to move forward. It's time for honesty, loyalty, integrity. It's time to take control of your life, take your power back and manifest the kind of life that you want. Yeah, moving forward. Stop trying to juggle and balance. You're trying to, you've been trying to juggle and balance these karmic cycles that are over with. You've been trying to, you know, juggle two things here and you can't anymore. It's, that's over. That's, that's, you know what I mean? The world card, these karmic cycles are over with this. It's, it's time for, this is a new cycle. This is a new life that you have with your, with your true love here. With your true love. It's like, you're trying to make everything balance out and it's like, just you're trying to juggle different things. And it's like, you know what, just let go of what's no longer serving you, even if it's unfamiliar and scary let go of like the things that are holding you back let go of the toxic people the toxic karmic the toxic jobs and then if you do that you have this new cycle coming in like i said those things are going to be replaced you know what i mean like you have this this true love you have true love you have abundance you have the sun card the happiest card in a deck you know you have like home family success abundance with this person with this energy and like new 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 career everything you know what i mean like like it's time to be brave and make some life changes um and have faith in this love like this is true love this is divinely guided this is protected this is a very beautiful energy you know have faith in this this is real this is as real and as deep as it gets so um so yeah i hope that helped you guys i know that's, that's kind of a long reading so i'm going to end it there but if you would like a private reading my email is right below so just send me an email uh, it is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And, yeah, you can copy and paste it right from the link below if you don't know the spelling. But, um, yeah, and please subscribe if it resonates and let me know, you know, I love to hear your stories. Thank you.